How do you think Stan Edgar's story will end and how do you want it to end? I want Stan Edgar to get some V, man. Give me some temporary V so I can really be a bad ass and all up. Come on, I want that temporary V, baby. I want to get in the action. Hello, my name is Giancarlo Esposito and today I am going undercover on the internet. Yes, it's actually me. Instagram. Do you do your Gus Fring impression to your kids when you get upset with them? No, I don't because it's scary. I have four daughters and I scare the crap out of them. All I do is, and that will break them into tears. And it just breaks my heart, but I know I've got that in my toolbox. Replied. You have plans to return to Star Wars at some point? I really liked your performance. Thank you. I love the Star Wars universe. Um, I don't have any plans because they haven't called me. Love Moff Gideon because you have something I want. Next. What's your theory on how you'll be able to come back? Come on. I came back to the third season. I didn't have a mustache. Then you see all these clones. Put it together. Is Giancarlo's secret weapon his voice? <laughs> I come from the theater and I use my voice quite a bit to not betray and sometimes to portray my emotional state. I love voice acting. I did Batman, I do Harley Quinn, I do some Super Bowl commercials. When you really listen, people do know me from my voice a lot. Posted. How did you craft the character in this show? I drank fine wine, went to fine restaurants, <laughs> and acted as if. Next, now on Quora. Who is more genius, Walter White or Gustavo Frank? Gustavo Frank. Posted. What's the most badass line in cinema history? I will kill your wife. I will kill your son. I will kill your infant daughter. Replied. Why does Giancarlo Esposito, the actor who portrayed Gustavo Frank in the AMC series Breaking Bad, frequently act as villains in television shows? Because villains are fun. For me to be a villain is to play someone who's real, someone who's fallen from grace. The fiercest actors in our history, they're smaller, but they pack a big punch. Next, let's check X. As a fan of Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul, I wish there was another show from within that universe. <laughs> a Gus Fring prequel show, perhaps? Yeah, I would love that too. My backstory is he was a military guy who worked his way up through the ranks and could have become president, el jefe, el presidente, even possibly the dictator and have taken over. But he wanted to do something that could not be controlled by others, and he wanted to control his own destiny. And so he took off to create a new life for himself in America and become a meth dealer, a businessman. But I think, you know, in his younger years, he was someone who could have been more Tony Montana, and he worked his way into becoming level enough to listen, hear, and see through his emotional state. We would hope that it might be the rise of Gus. Posted. Hi, I'm here on Twitter just to ask you. I'm sure you saw it did the right thing. Why didn't Bugging Out finish the guy that ruined the Jordans? He confronted the guy, but backed down. Why? I think he backed down because he is a gracious, magnanimous, understanding black man. That's a Spike Lee answer. Replied. If you had to cast Giancarlo Esposito as a character in a hypothetical DC or Marvel comics adaptation of your choosing that is not a cunning, stoic antagonist type, who would you cast him as? Ah, personally, I can see him killing it in the role of Ray Palmer. Yeah, I'm so ignorant. Who's Ray Palmer? X is a little more intellectual and he has a physical handicap. I know we've seen it in some incarnations prior to the wheelchair and he kind of goes mad and does all that. So that's all very interesting to me. I like the idea of playing someone who's on the right side of the law and might be able to do good. But there's also Magneto. There's a movement and action feeling about him that draws me to him. I would be really, really, really happy to join the Marvel Universe in some shape or form. It'd be an honor. Posted. All right, let's see some YouTube comments. How much does it cost to make a deal with Giancarlo if he knows they wouldn't be able to make a deal? <laughs> there is no amount of money he can't buy me. Replied. I like that one. Why did Gus not get into the car? Spidey sense is why Gus didn't get into the car. And he could feel it. It was his intuition that told him. 
That car is rigged. He's not going anywhere near it. He was smart enough to walk away and take care of it later. Next. How has this guy not been cast as a Bond villain yet? Yeah, that's a great question. <laughs> Bring it, baby. I love James Bond. I think it was Fireball. I got back in the 60s in the theater and have seen just about every James Bond movie since. God, would that be a great thing. So from your lips to God's ears, let's do James Bond. Posted. Reddit. How do you think Stan Edgar's story will end and how do you want it to end? I want Stan Edgar just to kill them all. You are not a god. You are simply a bad product. This is a show I never want to leave because I just love the swagger of Stan Edgar. He's a company man, but he's not a company man like you've ever seen before. He is the company. I want Stan Edgar to get some V, man. Give me some temporary V so I can really be a bad ass and all up. Come on, I want that temporary V, baby. I want to get in the action. Next. Anyone notice that Giancarlo Esposito has the same style glasses on? The boys, as he did in Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul, Breaking Bad were glasses that were antiques that I put together myself, believe it or not. Temples and legs. Frameless glasses. The boys are not. Boys, I wore plastic glasses in one scene. Those are Swiss flex. But good that they're kind of similar frameless, and soon I'm not wearing any glasses at all. Huh? Clue. Hint. Posted. Now, they are on the same team, but what would the hierarchy be like? Would Gideon have to respect Vader, or vice versa? Moff Gideon would have to respect Darth Vader. I think Darth Vader is the wellspring from which Moff Gideon gets his idealism. Moff Gideon's a remnant, Darth Vader's an even more powerful remnant, but I would give all due respect to Darth Vader. Replied. Who are your top 10 favorite villains in film? James Cagney, Public Enemy. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, who's that guy with those steel teeth in James Bond? I liked him. Jaws, jaw, with uh, teeth. Yeah, that guy, I liked him. Oh, the Joker. Heath Ledger, I liked him. I thought he did an amazing job. Posted. What experience do actors gain from Broadway that propels them to stardom, considering the multitude of great actors who have emerged from the stages? Discipline. When you're on set of a movie just reading lines, you can refer to them. You can go look back and between scenes. On stage, it's nonstop on the train or you're off the train. And you can also feel the energy of the audience right back at you. And feedback is a great thing because it creates timing. You learn how to time your laugh and time your joke. It changes your action and reaction in that live moment. Replied. We are now complete. I'm signing off. Okay. And now this is just for...